Hello everybody, how you doing today? It's Superfin here and welcome back to our Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough as Nikai the Wanderer. This episode we are going to make more progress against the Dark Elves here because we are going to assault Karand Kar with our two armies that are up here. They're going to get reinforcements from their Black Ark, I suppose. Uh, before we go ahead and kick this in, let's spend our skill point here with Lord Croak. Uh, we do have a couple siege towers, so hopefully this does not go poorly for us. They do have a lot of defenses. It's uh, weighted pretty evenly. They do have a lot of uh, big units in here, though. A lot of very tough melee units. Uh, the garrison itself is already tough as it is, but then they get a bunch of Harganeth executioners, shades with great swords, sisters of slaughter. Uh, they do have a lot of cavalry, which are not going to be that useful in the fight. Well, let's see how this goes. So we'll jump in here right into the action. Hopefully, we can get some nice big blobs and melt them with Lord Croak. Hopefully, we have enough Winds of Magic to spam his heavier spells. Uh, we are going to be able to get up onto their walls unfatigued, though, because we do have four siege towers. And if we time our Lord Croak Blasts um, appropriately, we should be able to take the walls without too much trouble. And our reinforcements are coming on way in the back corner. So let's see, we're just gonna uh, charge straight up there. And I think these fit on the walls in twos. So I'll put the other one there. Uh, however, And I guess these guys will just go after the gate. Oh boy, those are big missiles. Those are big missiles doing damage there. Now, can we shoot the towers with these? We can. So we'll just aim at that left tower. Oh boy, we're going to take a lot of missile damage in here. Wow, we obliterated that tower. Holy smokes. Let's shoot the next one. Get up here. There are their reinforcements coming on in the backfield there. Towers down. Let's go ahead and open up the walls. And then we'll come over here with uh, these units. Uh, why can they not? There we go. Okay, let's go get on the gate. Get on the gate. Wow, we took a lot of damage in here. Holy smokes. That's not good. Get up here with these guys. Lord Croak and his scooter. Okay, we got lots of temple guard for them. And Lord Croak. Yeah, 
right, let's get these guys blown up here. Come on. There we go. That was damaging. Yeah, we already broke that unit. Where are our sacred crocs? Come in here, please. Lord Croak. Let's get another one of those booms. Okay, we have one on the walls. Oh, decisively one. Get everybody else in here. Let's go ahead and summon right on top of these guys. And then, um... Let's throw some tornadoes. Okay, let's come up with those units. Uh, no, come back this way, please. Lord Crook going to get another big explosion in here. Um, okay. They kind of ran off. Let's get in here. One unit of Temple Guard is doing really bad. A couple units of them are doing really bad. Go ahead and start shooting in here. That stuff is breaking, though. Okay, yeah, come on. Get in here. Get in here. Uh, let's get you up. Come on, Lord Croak. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have this thing. I always forget about that with him. How are we doing over here? Not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and drop another summon in there. Let's bring these guys back this way. Start popping our abilities because we got a bazillion of them. All right, let's charge in with our big units on the flank there. Get this stuff here. Uh, let's go ahead. We got some shades over here. We'll hit them with the uh, little tornado wind blast thingies. And then let's go ahead and charge in. Here they come. Come on. Come on. Do some damage. Do some damage. Let's go ahead and shoot that stuff there. Lots of executioners. We got some Winds of Magic back. And where is our revivification crystal? Let's um drop that on the Temple Guard, I guess. This Temple Guard are still fighting up here, fighting the Admiral. Uh, Lord Croak. Let's hope this does good damage. Here it comes. 
That was pretty good. It's breaking the uh, cold one, Dread Knights. A bunch of stuff in here just broke. Uh, let's go get on the shades with the great weapons here. Let's push in here to these executioners. Is this stuff all breaking on the flanks? It's getting there. It's not quite broken. Now they got more dread knights. You get in here too. Uh, get on this. Let's push in here. This is madness. It is madness. It's crazy. I can't even keep track of how many uh, temple guard. We've lost breaking into here. Okay, everything on their uh, flank just shattered. Uh, it looks like their center just shattered. It looks like everything just shattered. Here you go. Oh my gosh, look how much damage they took. It's terrible. I probably should have thrown down Lord Croak's damage resist as they were closing up on the walls, but yeah. Can't remember everything. Big nasty battle. We came in with uh, 1,036. They had 3,100. No, my blessed temple guard. Ah, oh, but that was a very decisive defeat for the uh, Dark Elves there. I lost the regular unit of um, Saurus. All right, let's go ahead and get some more Blessed Temple Guard. And then can we get blessed horned ones? I hate horned ones. Blessed horned ones. Let's get two units of those. We got lots of favor from the old ones here. Two, uh, one, two, and then the temple guard. Boom! Back up to full strength, practically. And what we'll do is we'll just come over here and encamp. And we'll move our Stegadon army and encamp. And we got skill points. All right, looks good, looks good. Uh, with these guys here, um, let's get him back into the water so he can't get hurt. Swing uh, westward with this guy. It's a lot of Marauder champions. Can we get there? We can do it. All right, we're going for this. Leaf Swordson. It's in our favor. We're going to fight it. Uh, let's go ahead and cause terror there. Increase speed for them and increase leadership right there, I guess. Here we go. That's a lot of Marauder Champions.
We do have our fire slan. I'm not sure if it's better to increase our armor or to increase uh, fire damage. Uh, we do have quite a few of these guys. Uh, let's see. Let's kind of come up here. I think they'll come to us. It's our soul. And so we can put this here. We have uh, two revivification crystals. I think I want one on each side. All right, they don't have any missiles on this flank. Uh, their only missiles are right in here, the javelins. Now then they got mar uh, Marauder Hunters too. Well, let's hassle them. Uh, so far, so good. And let's shoot the uh, ice trolls. And then, here you go. Let's see if we can't get those tornadoes in there. Come on, why does it take so long? Yes, do some good damage. Do some good damage. Let's pull back with our salamanders. Get these marauder champions. They're all bunched up in here again. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hola, skinks. They've pulled like four units or three units back to go fight that stuff. That's good. Got a fireball out there. Okay, they are closing up with us. Hit the Norskin Ice Trolls. Oh, that was another good hit there. Okay, got our Vortex there. Yeah, I think this is where we want a a vortex. See where do we want this? Right over there looks good. Burning head down the line. Vortex in the other way. Charge in right there. Bring these over this way. Let's go shoot that.
Okay, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Is this stuff broken yet? Yeah, it's breaking down over here pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and get on him. Let's charge in there. Oh, wow. These guys took a bunch of damage. Let's go back and get Maleka Kiki. Okay, we're breaking all this stuff in here. Let's see if we can slow him down. Get on the Marauder Hunters. Everything's starting to break. That was a much better uh, micromanaged battle there, I feel. Where is my fireball? Where's fireball? There it is. Blast him on his chariot. Here it comes. Here it comes. Big old scorching ball. No! Lands way short. Okay, well. So there we go. We got a couple uh, nice decisive battles so far this episode. Although the first one was a lot more casualty heavy. That's okay. Uh, roughly the same size forces between the last one and this one. <laughs> and Malek Agnerson is the stray. Get ourselves a Dawnstone 15% physical resist. Nice item. And Rodakudin can just sit nice and easy there. No, Kai. Uh, I wonder if we should just go like. Brrrr. I have a feeling he'll try to attack us with this um, black arc. Who I don't want attrition. Mm. Can I get onto the land? All right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get on the land. I would have liked to have sailed further south and come through here, but there's all this attrition and it's going to take too long. So forget that. Uh, let's bring this one way down here, though. All right. So odd movement there from Avalorn, moving onto the land, not attacking the settlement, and then moving back the transports, I think. Dark Elves moving up with more armies. Very strong presence here. It's going to be hard to push across that little bridge of land. Uh, no, no peace treaty with you.
Okay, so the fellow who tripped on his shoelace up here is ready for duty. And let's see, can we get here? Ah, oh, not quite. Well, we will walk all the way up. I don't think Avalorn's going to attack the settlement, although maybe they'll decide to. We'll see. Um, over here. My vision predicts failure. The goddess forbids it. Well, those are some nasty armies. Really, we don't have a uh, great movement. All right, well, let's set up another ambush because we were, we've were we been so fortunate with those. So we'll set up uh, right there. And then the Kai will cruise up to here. And then this army will just uh, kind of pull up the rear, but stay on this other chunk of land. They do got some tough armies. What we need, though, is we just need a small um, ambush over here. If we can get an ambush on one of these, that'll really allow us to just flood across and take all this stuff back. Relatively uncontested. However, if we fail another ambush... Um, I'm pretty sure that Nakai can dish out... Uh, quite a beating on any of these armies here just by himself he does after all have the sword of cane all right come on give us an ambush give us an ambush I don't think the last defenders are going to make a lot of progress here on Ulthuan. Avalorn's got lots of armies, and they are heading down towards, I think it's Vol's Anvil. Come on, walk into an ambush. Oh, oh my gosh. Come on, give it. Yeah. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Is this a battle or is this a battle? Well. Um, looking at the time here, I think what we're going to do is we're going to fight this one when we come back in the next episode. And boy, is it going to be a bloody affair. This is going to be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge. I hope that we get like our better units as reinforcements. Um, although I wouldn't be too unhappy if we get like the, the garrison on early. But this is going to be rough. In any case, we're going to end this one here. We made some pretty good progress. Uh, we had a few good battles this episode, one against the Dark Elves, one against Mung. 
Let me know if you enjoyed it with comments or thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we're going to have this massive fight on our hands. Check out the rest of the channel. Consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a good afternoon and take care.